Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another Monday morning high five. Um, today we are completing, finishing chapter eight um, in the ESV Bible. You probably see the header, the death of Gideon. Um, and so just the quick version, a uh, quick summary of verses 29 through 35. Um, Gideon, after he does all that he does to defeat Midian and makes his, his ephod and collects spoil, he, you know, gets even with the elders and <laughs> in these cities, breaks down towers. After he does all of these things, um, it, verse 29 says he, um, he went and lived in his own house. He, he went home. And at his home, he is he becomes the father of 70 sons. Um, he has many wives. He has a concubine, and he has a son by the concubine. Um, and he eventually dies, the Bible says, in a good old age, and was buried in the tomb of Joash, his father. And then verse 33, it's very familiar, unfortunately, says, as soon as Gideon died, the people of Israel turned again and whored after the Baals and made Baal Bareth their God. And the people of Israel did not remember the Lord their God who had delivered them from the hand of all their enemies on every side. They did not show steadfast love to the family of Jerubbabel, that is Gideon, in return for all the good that he had done in Israel. So, Unfortunately, we see this cycle repeated. Um, and I'll go first, Richard. Um, the one thing that I was, that, that kind of uh, stood out to me, and it's, I mean, it's not just specific to Gideon, but you definitely see it, is that God, you can see God's love for Israel in the fact that God does not just walk away from this mess that he chooses to to continue to be involved in this dysfunctional situation they i mean god could easily just say look what what are y'all i like i'm not gonna keep doing this i'm not gonna keep sending someone to deliver you and as soon as that person uh, dies, now you just, they they give victory. I give them the victory. And as long as you can see them, you, you'll act kind of right. And as soon as they die, you go right back into the mess, right back. Not even a, a, a grace period. You don't take a, a time out, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, like, Maybe the gray spirit is while the, the judge is alive. That's that's your great spirit. Like, okay, we're taking a break. But as soon as the judge dies, you know what? I don't think we were worshiping Baal, right? Let's try that one more time. Like we we just just to see. Just to see. Like, I know we have some experience, but maybe we just maybe that's what we needed. A little more experience. Let's try it again. But you just see that God even though he really does not have to, he should not have to, that God will sometimes, if it, if it's, if he chooses to, God can and sometimes will function in our dysfunction. And I don't wanna make it seem like it's just in that day and time. Like I think he continues, he continues to function even in our dysfunction, even in 2021, like there's so many things and so many situations where you just go like, we, we should know better. We should, we should know better. We should be doing better. And yet God goes, I, yeah, you're right. You should know better, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk away. Even when I could, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to be here. Um, and this, and the reason is because he loves us. 
Yeah. Like that's the only reason. It's not because we've earned it. It's not because we have credit with him <laughs> based on good behavior. Is is just because he loves us. So yeah, that's what I saw. Got you. Um yeah, just kind of what I saw in there is just that like that verse 33. As soon as Gideon died, the people of Israel turned again, hoard after the bells, and made Bell bear their God. And like just from going through Judges, we're only at chapter eight. Um, but we're like you say, we're seeing this cycle of the people um you know worshiping God and then falling off. And the, the thing that just kind of stood out to me, like as I was looking at this, is just the people really had God tied to a person. And so we see as long as the person is alive that, you know, they believe God is with, they would serve God. They would follow God. But then as soon as that person died, then they go back to their own ways. They go back to, you know, serving these other gods. And it's like they, Israel really had God like connected and tied to like a person. Um, you know, all the judges before it was like God was almost kind of tied to them. And as long as they're alive, then God is alive and we can serve him. But <laughs> if that yeah. person dies, then, you know, now God is dead. And, and like it says, they did not remember God, you know. Um, and so. Like, what is that? As, you, as you're talking, I'm thinking they act like they, they couldn't, they didn't know his number. <laughs> the only one who knew how to get in touch with him, like <laughs> we're we're lost. Like Gideon, Gideon's God. We don't even know how to get in touch with God. Like right, right. Who are we supposed to call? Where are we supposed to go to get in touch with God now? I mean, we know where Bell's at, but we don't know where God is. Like right, right. Gideon, go. I don't even know how to get to God. Yeah. Oh, um, and and the thing that just. It, it, what it made me think about is today how, you know, sometimes we tie God to other things. Yeah. It, it Sometimes it may not be a specific person. In some cases it, it is. It's like maybe a pastor or a leader where we people will kind of tie God to. Um, and then when that leader falls or messes up, then it's like, oh, well, God, you know, not there. And it, it's we, you know, make all these other excuses. Uh, some people tie God to like the church. And I think we kind of see that a little bit, like during this pandemic, how the it pushed people out of the church and pushed everyone out of the church. And it's like, you know, did you still do the things you were supposed to do? Did you still, you know, pray and read? Like, or was it only like because I was going to church to the building that, you know, it felt like God was there and I could only do these things because I was there? Um, and I just think, you know, sometimes we do that. We connect and, and tie God to um, another thing or another person, another place, another item. Um, and But God is is God on its own. He's separated like God, you know, should be worshiped, should be praised, should should be remembered um, in spite of, you know, who he is sent and who he has used. Um, in the past to deliver us and, and to do things for us. And so, yeah, that was just the thing that stuck out to me, just the way that they were connecting God and tying God to people. Um, and we see, like, once the people leave, that also takes God with them. Like, Gideon, <laughs> once he died, he took God to the grave with him. And like you said, they, they couldn't find him. Like, oh, we can't worship him because it, the only reason we had him was because of this person, you know? Right. And right. so, yeah, that's that's what stood out to me. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And I mean, it I think you can't help but look at it and just you have to say like the relationship that the majority of the people seem to have like it wasn't personal. It yeah. it was second hand. It was oh, Gideon's worshiping. Yeah, let's worship like Gideon. Yeah. But if there is no Gideon, if there's no one else, like, I mean, me I'm, me by myself, like, worship God, like, without without someone else doing it, without, like, mm, I mean, yeah. nah. 
<laughs> like I can worship Baal by myself. Like I don't need anyone to show me how to worship Baal. But if yeah. no one's gonna show me how to worship God, like I don't, it don't, nah. Yeah. And like you say, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, in a lot of ways, I think we've seen that, um, like the due to the pandemic, um, it's it's put the emphasis on you worship your God for yourself. Not even necessarily by yourself. Like there are still opportunities to connect, but mm. it's for yourself. It's not so you can be seen with the other people in the building. It's so that you have that same, you keep that connection to God, not to the people, <laughs> you yeah. know? So yeah, I, that's a great point. That's a really good point. Um, anything else? Um, you sad to see Gideon go? Yeah, man. I, I was. I mean, he, he said he was. Hurt. He's a good old age. I mean, what, what else could you want? Like, I just just want him to stick around a little longer, man. <laughs> Yeah, Israel definitely wanted them to stick around a lot. They needed, they needed old Gideon. They needed uh, Gideon not to die until the next judge was on the scene. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's we we're laughing, but it's I like I said, like you, it's tough to read this and just go, man, like. Why is God even putting up with that? You know, like after all God has done, you go like this is, you know, Pastor Manuel has, has started talking about Exodus, like them leaving Egypt. I mean, that's, you know, many years ago at this point. But I mean, it's still relevant for them, you know, like right. you used to be a nation of slaves and mm -hmm. you come all this way. Like you have all this. God has delivered on his promise, giving you all this land, won all these victories. And now you're just like, <sighs> I mean, I know, but, but Baal though, like, look at Baal. Like, he's just, he's sitting on that shelf. Like, how am I going <laughs> to, how am I supposed to ignore Baal? <laughs> right. So, it's just crazy. Yeah. But yeah. If there's nothing else, we appreciate you joining us for another Monday morning high five. If God says the same, we'll be back next Monday. We will start chapter nine. nine. We'll start chapter nine. Still um, talking about the family of Gideon, his son, Abimelech. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be back. We'll, we'll get into that. But we appreciate you joining us today. Hopefully you can share with us, share some comments. Um, like Richard always says, we will try our best to respond and get back to you if we see them. So um, we appreciate you and we'll see you again next week. God says the same.